and yeah that's pretty much it so let's see that together so it literally goes dark can you see hey guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl patricia here back with another video if you're new to this channel welcome definitely make sure you subscribe if you haven't yet because you definitely will want to do later so you might as well just do it now today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how i create this look if you don't know i have blonde hair so i'm going to show you guys how i hide my blonde in this look and also in my french i do have uh blonde hair so i was able to hide it so if you do have colored hair and you for once want to have like black hair for a day or so, you can and I'm going to show you how. So without further ado, let's just get into today's video. Okay guys, so I'm going to show you guys how I hide my blondes in my ponytail. So what I'm going to do is literally just do a time lapse. Um, um, slicking back my hair. Uh, so you guys can see that I'm pretty sure everyone knows how to slick back their hair and then you guys and then I'll just guide you guys through What I'm gonna need to slick my hair back. I'm just gonna be using eco styling gel some water and Yeah, that's pretty much it and then a brush and a comb And another brush so that's all I'm gonna be using and obviously some elastic bands so yeah so i'm gonna be doing that first and then i'll show you guys everything else as we go so yeah so I slicked it all back I actually put quite high so you can't see a lot of the blondes here so it's very high uh, however I left the front bit so you guys can see I usually actually do a bit down so you can see a bit more of the brown but I didn't today so what we're gonna do with these curls now we I'm just gonna do a little braid Hair. I actually got this hair from uh, the hair shop. It's like it was like four pounds or something, if I'm not wrong. And I guess you can like use it for, but it's not like proper real hair or anything. But yeah, that's the hair I have. It's very soft actually, considering the price I paid for it. Come on. So this is the hair I've got. It's basically hair extensions you know it's not a proper ponytail so i think this is a size 18 then 18 yeah i think it's 18 so I'll just brush it along so i feel like i need to come a bit closer you know so the don't quite my braid okay it's a bit i could pardon me i didn't really want to brush out my curls so to keep the hair stuck in there, I just use some hair clips. So, just be using like a bunch of them. And I'll show you guys as I go. But yeah, so. Hoo -hoo -hoo -hoo. I'm gonna start with one of the packs. And you just basically go by the end of one of the hairs. And okay, so. I literally put, I start the hair by applying here where the elastic band is because when I applied like the hair clip, it, it will fully like get stuck in there. So I'll be sure that this is like secure. So I'll go around and as it gets there, I would like do it again. So it just has like 
double support if that makes sense so i'll just do that again okay literally that and now i'll just like start rolling over rolling the first bit there's only like this much hair left so i'm gonna use the second one and just roll it around so i'll use the exact same technique so like close the first bit so i'll attach it like the previous hair and then i'll roll it around I'll get this bit stuck again as well. Just so like extra support. And then I'll just go around and around. I kinda have to go around a few times on the same spot. Just so like the blonde don't peek out in the hair because the hair is like really thin. And then I will put my clips and then I'll just carry on doing the exact same thing I did before. <music> be left of hair what I do is grab a little bit more so this much and then roll roll around and then I will use the hair clip again and just close it off And then the whole hair is literally covered. I'm just gonna brush this off because it's. Oh. It's definitely like very secure, so you don't have to worry that it will come off or anything. And then you just. Okay, so that's the hair done. Now we have this front section here to do. Do I straighten or do I curl this way? I think I want it straighten. I haven't straightened my hair in like months. I think a whole year probably. So this will be nice. This will be interesting. But I'm, I'm really excited. I'm really excited to show you guys how I'm gonna hide these blondes here. So yeah, I'm gonna straight it first. So as I wait for the straightness, I think I'm just gonna do my baby hairs first, and then we like straighten this okay so i'm gonna straight this section here I've just finished straightening this section. What I'm gonna do now is like dye these pieces black. So let's do that together. What I'm gonna use to do that is this Ruth Ruth Perfect, and this basically is in the color shade black, and it's supposed to just darken your roots. But I'm gonna use it for here. So let's do that together. So it literally goes dark. Can you see? Yeah. So. Oh shit, maybe I should not spray in front of my laptop.
Okay, now I'm gonna leave it to dry. It's a bit greenish. That's okay. Look at my hand, guys. But yeah, I'm just spraying into my hand. But yeah, guys, so this you can literally get from, I usually get it from Savers. So it's like cover regrowth or cover gray. So that's literally what it is. So I got the color black. There's a brown one, I think, as well. So yeah, this is pretty good. And it obviously covers your hair. It looks a bit greeny on mine. So yeah, but it does cover it. It does the do for the day. Usually I would always I always do it here once like I have my brown. So like here you can see a little bit of brown and there. So I'll just go a little bit with this and I'll just pray there and like there and that will just literally do. That's just it. Okay, now I need to definitely clean my hands. You can literally just wash your hands and as soon as you like wash your hair, the color goes away. Like so this is not like permanent or anything. As soon as you wash your hair, the color is going to like wash off as well. So you see it's that simple just with a baby. Um, a wipe it comes off why do i keep forgetting words today that makes no sense okay so i look like i've i've been oh my god did i get my top stained no i look like i've been like working on cars because literally wow like i'm a mechanic or something okay guys so the hair is kind of green again so the dye is kind of kind of rubbed off since i've done my makeup so I have the bottle and I'm just gonna spray again. Oh maybe I need the mirror. <sighs> I'm just getting mirror. I just wanna show you guys how to do it again. I just first get I don't need to go on my face. Okay, so can you see? before it goes on my face because I think they don't want to have this on my face but yeah this time I just used the little like cotton thing just because I didn't want to have it all over my hands but I do have on my nails but I'm just going to show you guys again how easy it is to just like clean it and as soon as I wash my hair the um, dark bits will be off so you see it just so easily comes off well no worries you see so okay i think it's dry now so that's literally what it looks like can you see like how dark it is now how like it was like just a little brown so i guess you just have to like touch it up i guess but my hair is just like really really blonde so bright at the bottom so that's why it got a little bit greeny but if you do it again it should be okay so guys this is the end of my video this is literally what my hair looks like here is still a bit greenish at the end but i just don't want to dye it too much because i don't want to affect i don't want it to go on my face so i'm trying to avoid that but you could literally do more and the more you do it the longer it will stay and the less you touch your hair the less the dye will leave so it can literally stay the whole day with you but so yeah guys that is literally it you can see so yeah guys that is the end definitely make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet definitely make sure you give me a thumbs up if you did like this video also make sure you hit that bell button so you get notified every time i upload a video don't forget to follow me on my socials such as instagram i'm always always active there so definitely go ahead and hit me a follow so you can keep in touch with me besides youtube also follow me on tiktok i've recently been uploading there more and i want to upload there more often so definitely go and follow me there also 
and yeah guys thank you so much we actually go on our youtube and it's so amazing thank you for all my new subscribers and yeah so thank you so much and i'll see you guys on my next video bye